Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Now, in today's video, I will be sharing with you some simple tips and tricks that I used in achieving my DIY maternity photo shoot. Now, if this is your first time taking a maternity photo shoot, don't be alarmed. Just stay tuned as I walk you through the simple steps. Now, let's get into it. Now, before we start, let's get this out there. Taking everyday photo shoot by yourself is not an easy task. Now, try to imagine being pregnant and doing this all by yourself. It is a very daunting task. But there you go. I have your back covered, okay? So you don't need to be alarmed. Just sit back, get a paper, get a note, and jot down some of the tips I'm going to be sharing with you as we go along. First thing you need is good equipment or tools. And when I say equipment, I mean if you have a camera, fine. And if you don't, a smartphone would do a perfect job. Those of you who have Samsung smartphone, I'm telling you, that is so good, especially for we women of color or brown skin girls. Samsung smartphone, I think, brings out the best shade of colors we have. So if that is what you have, you are perfect and good to go. Next thing you need is a tripod. That is if you're going to do it all by yourself without anyone's help. And even if you have someone's help, sometimes you still need a tripod. Then, that is the number one first tip you need. Number two, my second tip for you is picking out the perfect location. Trust me, you need to know where you want to take your outdoor shoot. That comes with, with, with that in mind, you need to think about, do you want to have an indoor shoot or an outdoor shoot? For me, I decided to have both indoors and outdoor shoot. Now, for my outdoor shoot, because I knew I was going to have an outdoor shoot, I had to plan and pick the perfect location for my outdoor shoot. And I'm telling you, if you decide right now that you're going to have an outdoor shoot, you need to start thinking about the location you want to have. Now, also at the same time, you also need to think about the outfit, the makeup look that is going to suit the environment, the surrounding of that particular location. Take mine, for example, I choose an open field and I knew the moment I fell in love with that particular location, I knew the outfit that I was going to use for that particular location. And voila, there you have it. And for my next outdoor location as well, I also knew right away the outfit that was going to blend in within that particular location. And that was what helped me in picking out the right outfit. So the simple trick there is taking your time picking out a location, taking your time studying the surrounding of that location, and at the same time taking your time picking at the right outfit that is going to blend in well with that surrounding. You get the trick now? That's it. For you to get a perfect posture, how to stand, where to stand, where to look, which direction, you simply need Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube for that. So do your research and then remember the moment you find something you really love, Take a snapshot on your mobile, smart mobile telephone so that you can have it hands-on. When you're outdoor shooting, you can 
always take it tips you can look at it it gives you an idea how to stand and there you go there you have it those are all the tips those are what i use this is what i those are the things i did and don't forget finally you also need to edit your pictures trust me you cannot just take a picture from your phone or from your camera and you think it's all over no you need to go home Go through what you've taken, pick the best out of the best, and then look for the right app to edit your photo shoots. run down what I said number one tip is good equipment and good good equipment I mean camera tripod and your smart cell phone number two location 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 surrounding studying your location picking out your location studying the surrounding and number three weather you need to study the weather if you're gonna have an outdoor shoot number four an indoor shoot you need good lighting number five if you're gonna be doing this all by yourself you need to plan out your outfit that blends well with whatever location or whatever environment you choose to have your shoots number six you need a good makeup now practice make perfect so just keep practicing till you find the perfect makeup combination for all your outfits. The next tip is accessories. You simply need good accessories. For the outfit, you actually do not... Now, for the outfit, you actually do not need to spend so much money. All you need to do is check what you already have at home. And if you need, why not? You can afford it, go for it. You can buy. You can buy whatever you want if you have the funds for it. But for me, mm, 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 no. I used what I already have at home. So, outfit and accessories and makeups work hand in hand. The final tip for me is not waiting till you're almost 30. Eight to 39 weeks pregnant remember you need to take your maternity shoot when you're 34 or 33 or the most 35 you still have energy to go up and down and still look fabulous so there you have it these are all the tips and tricks that I use to achieve this looks so if you like this video don't forget to like subscribe and if you have any comment for me you can just leave it down there and thank you until next time see you